So we have been living with this family our whole lives. I mean, the Wallenbergs. everybody, yeah, the Wallenbergs. Everybody knows them. Everybody admires them. And I've been into finance and work with the stock market. Of course, you know them because they own Nasdaq, right? And Nasdaq is actually is also the platform for 150 stock exchanges worldwide. Every stock market is controlled by them. So not only the telecom infrastructure in 184 countries, then you have Nasdaq uh, and then you have BIS, Bank of International Settlements. So they have the whole ecosystem for all transactions globally. And I'm sure that they watch your show because they, they have to. They, they want to know what the people know. Um, yeah. They could, if they wanted to, free humanity with their wealth. They could stop war. They could create abundance, create flourishing mm -hmm. economies. But it seems, and maybe I'm, you know, a little biased here, but it, it seems <laughs> to me that they don't have any interest in doing that whatsoever. They have interest more so in control, in creating profit through war, in uh, creating control through monopolizing resources, creating control through monopolizing monetary systems. Mm -hmm. So it's like, look, dude, you can choose to exercise your free will however you want. But I'm just telling you that and I'm not talking to you, dear, I'm talking to them. And I, I'm speaking directly to them when I say I'm telling you that you're going down a very slippery slope and it won't end well for you spiritually. It will not end well for you karmically. And you can continue to do this, but you will have hell to pay. And you can always cross the sea of your transgressions and not do it anymore and use your wealth, your abundance and your influence to free humanity. But if you continue to use it to enslave humanity, I promise you one day the roles will reverse and you will be the slave and the people will be the master. Mm.